Successful city building and city skylines too is all about people. Anticipating their needs and desires, ensuring they feel safe and actually keeping them safe. Understanding what annoys and delights them and doing what it takes to give them healthy, happy lives from beginning to end. How? City services. You'll build clinics and hospitals to deliver healthcare, plus the ambulance service people need in life or death situations. Oh yeah, sometimes it will be a death situation. So you'll add death care services that transport people to the city's crematoriums and cemeteries. You'll set up schools for kids of all ages, plus colleges and universities. After all, education fosters social advancement. Life still might take a turn for the worse for some people. When it does, you'll want the safety net of a welfare office. One thing that improves everyone's well-being, no matter what's going on in life, is time outdoors. You'll create parks, plazas, attractions, and landmarks that make people living nearby happier and healthier. As in real life, safety first is a good mantra in city skylines too. So you'll want various fire and rescue services. Just adding a firehouse reduces the likelihood of a blaze in the neighborhood. Same with police stations. Build them and send patrols out onto the streets to cut crime. Communications is a new city service in city skylines too, helping you meet more essential needs. That includes the internet. Naturally, the easier it is to connect to the web, the happier everyone will feel and the more profitable the city's businesses will be. Of course, everyone relies on electricity, so you want to avoid long outages. They aren't just aggravating. Blackouts will prompt people to move out and force businesses to pause production, putting profits at risk. Keep electricity lines humming with sustainable energy sources like wind, solar, geothermal, and hydropower. Go old school with fossil fuels like coal and gas. There's always the nuclear option too. This is the most realistic city builder ever. So you'll need to deal with a lot of sh stuff. We're talking sewage. Gross? Yes. Necessary? Also yes. With a wastewater treatment plant, you can purify sewage and circulate water into your city's freshwater network. Or you can pump sewage into open waters and out of the network. Don't forget to stay on top of garbage. Garbage processing centers, landfills, and an incineration plant will stop it piling up. But don't take shortcuts. Air and water pollution can sink land values, harm the health of residents, and tarnish the city's appeal to tourists. Ready to introduce a city service? Previously, you only had to construct a city service building. When that service needed to cover a larger area or support more people, you simply constructed the same building again. Not anymore. Almost all city services can now be upgraded to scale operations and expand functionality. While city services make your city livable, they come at a cost. Balancing these costs and the very real needs of everyone in your city is the name of the game. Subscribe to the City Skylines 2 YouTube channel for updates and more feature highlights.